hip internal rotation, passive range of motion. So our zero position is we're gonna use the midline of the leg as our indicator, uh, indicator line. Uh, and then our reference is gonna be the line of gravity or a vertical line. So as we rotate the hip into internal rotation, we need to be aware of pelvic substitutions. So what I like to do, is it okay if I put my hands on your pelvis? Yeah. I'm gonna put my hand on the contralateral PSIS, superior iliac crest region, as I rotate into internal rotation. One of the substitutions can be this. So I'm stabilizing the pelvis, springing against the barrier, uh, once I've established that physiological barrier, then I don't have to stabilize the pelvis. Just want to make sure that I hold her in this position. I can estimate. So this is our reference, this vertical line. So I would say about 35 degrees. While maintaining that end range position, I can take my measurement. So again, reference is going to be parallel with gravity. And then indicator is parallel with the midline, anterior midline of the leg.